Closing the gaping state budget gap will be an uphill battle. Lawmakers have to find tens of millions of dollars for the insolvent fund to fix roads and pay public worker pensions. And now comes a bill that would take $110 million from the property tax relief fund and use it to expand pre-K. The bill's co-sponsor is Assemblywoman Myla J.C., thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Tomorrow, Governor Christie unveils his 2017 budget. Is there really room in that budget to find $110 million to expand pre-K further? Well, you know, budgets reflect priorities. Right. And I believe very strongly that we need to make the education of our children, children beginning with the youngest ones, a priority. But New Jersey already has one of the highest regarded pre-K programs in the country. We're already paying some $615 million for pre to expand pre-K in Abbott districts. Why do we need this to further? We need it because in 2008, we had the SFRA, the School Funding Reform Act. And in that, part of the commitment of that law was to expand pre-K to the districts that were not included in the Abbott funding. So which districts would be included now? Well, it would be um, over 100 districts that qualify. they are A, B, or possibly C, D districts that have 40% or more students in the free and reduced lunch program. Why pre-K? Why is it important? How does it affect the economy overall? Well, pre-K is a wonderful investment in our young people Money spent in the early years saves us money down the road. And uh, as the superintendent in Clifton said last week, uh, students coming into kindergarten from a quality pre-K program have a vocabulary of about 5,000 words as compared to children coming in without that who come in with about 1,000 words. So they come in already on uneven ground. How exactly does this stem from the school reform Act of 2008? Well, the School Reform Act of 2008 recognized that about 50% of our children who are considered at risk because of low socioeconomic um, standing or their English language learners or with special needs live outside of those districts covered by the former Abbott uh, label. Is, does this have bipartisan support? I know that um, that Speaker Prieto is, supports it, but does it have support on the other side? Yes, it does. Um, Assemblywoman Betty Lou DeCroce is my co-sponsor. It was very important to me that we have bipartisan support. I don't see education as a partisan issue at all. And I think that we have to begin this conversation and start planning for the future as the budget improves. Governor Christie's back in the governor's office, and one presumes um, legislation will actually get done. What are the chances of this getting passed? Your guess is as good as mine, but we're going to work towards it. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time, and during this time that we're working towards it, we're building support throughout the state in every district across party lines. And that $110 million, would it be over? would it be dispersed over time? Um, yes, the $110 million would be to start, and money that's not spent in the first year would be carried over to the following years. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for being with us. <laughs> Thank Jay you for C. having me. It's a very, very important topic.